And let's make a marinade that's gonna be in there for about 20 minutes. Garlic, olive oil, salt, pepper, lemon, and lemon rind, hot pepper. And what I mean is you don't have to do it with the shells on. If you can find them, you do have to peel them afterwards, but the flavor is magnificent, and then you can make an unbelievable stock. I like hot, so I'm doing plenty of red pepper, but you can adjust it to your seasonings. So we only do it for 20 minutes because that's all that it needs. And while this is marinating up, let's get, let me get it up mixed. I'm just going to use my hands. Let's um, get the cabbage cut and get the red onion chopped. A few things I want to show you. I'm getting my pan hot. I've got my shrimp over here. I'm gonna get ready to take that out. And then I've got this butter. I don't actually have it on, I just have it next to the pan. It's clarified. And I'm just gonna kinda of gently heat it as I go. So I'm gonna put a little olive oil. I know I already have the olive oil in here, but the reality is it's filled with lemon and some other things. And then I'm gonna pull this out. Now look what I do. Don't take the marinade with you, but you don't have to brush it off either. Just go like this and throw the shrimp in. Let's get, let's get sizzling, this is the best part. And after three minutes, you flip it. And by the way, uh, if you want to use avocado oil or you want to use coconut oil, it's your choice. This just happens to be my oil of preference. Okay, it's been just under three minutes, and let's get these off, and we'll get another batch going. Okay, so here we go. Get it in a single layer. I've got a little oil in there, and look what I did. I pulled it out of the, of the marinade, but I haven't, like, brushed it off. And let's just get everything laying flat and do this for about three minutes. This is nearly done, and what I'm going to do over here is just gently heat my clarified butter because I'm going to be throwing that in, and that's when we get to the sizzling. So I'm going to put the first batch back in. Let's be sure to see those lovely juices. Oh, my gosh, capture every bit of that. Get a rubber spatula. And then we're going to start putting our wonderful magic elixir on. Okay, so let me show you that. Hot sauce and some butter, and let's get tossing. And everything sizzles and you want to get everything evenly coated and you simply cannot believe how fantastic this is everyone's gonna love it be sure to tag me when you do this dish. build a platter with whatever you like I've got red cabbage onion jicama radishes lime and a couple of kinds of lettuces would be fabulous with other things also so I've got my roasted red pepper sauce which you're gonna absolutely love and I'm going to put this cabbage. First of all, I love cabbage. Good for you. And secondly, it's so beautiful. And let's add some jicama next to that. So I'm going to do the radishes here. And it was fun to kind of do them in a different shape than what you expect. And that's the fun thing about uh, cooking is just cook from your heart. Try some new things. Don't be afraid to fail. Get in there and kind of figure out how long it takes to cook food. Let's add the shrimp. And here's the thing. You can add this directly on a platter. Um, I decided to do it in a bowl and it is it, it's definitely kind of a messy dish and of course don't forget to take off the peels but it's gonna be so delicious and worth a little bit of effort so now I'm gonna build this up you can make it as a salad or as a wrap you could use romaine but you might uh, prefer um, a soft Boston lettuce here's the great thing so many ways to vary things up and you just don't want to get locked into doing things a certain way find what you have local and in and in season so I'm gonna use my fantastic sauce Clearly, you could cut these up, right? We're kind of a, a finger food kind of family. Put whatever you want on it, whatever you like, and squeeze a little lemon over. Oh, boy, this is going to be good. So what you do is dress it up, take a bite, and I'll tell you what I think. I just took a bite, and it's delicious. I love the jicama, the red onion, the radish, the shrimp, the sauce, all together with the lime and the cabbage. It's fantastic. I can't wait for you to make it and be sure to tag me at no crumbs left hashtag no crumbs left.